Hello and welcome to today's live stream. We are on a roller coaster ride. If you could give me a little comment below to make sure you can hear us loud and clear and also let us know where you're from. Notification Squad, Tech Gear Talk. Hello, hello, hello. Let us know where you are joining us from. Are you on Facebook? Are you on YouTube? Are you in Ohio? Are you in the North Pole? Let us know where you're coming from. Hello, Aaron. Hope you're doing well, man. Hope you're doing well. Hello, Mike. Hope you are doing well. Thanks for joining us again on the live stream. If you're just now joining us, go ahead and let us know where you are joining from. We'd love to know where this live stream is making it to. Hello and welcome, Jim. Last week's contest winner, so we still got to connect so I can get you that $50 gift card. You too can win, and we're going to announce today, towards the end of the live stream, how you too can win 50 phones to be used at Pixel Connection. Is anybody else out there just so pumped for this live stream? I know Chris wants to dance, but who else just like with this music upbeat wants to dance? Like what you don't see is me like bobbing up and down behind the scenes. Who else wants to have a dance party? Looks like we got some Michigan folks in the house. Hello, CR. I want to say Curtin. Curtin. And then hello, our friend Richard out of Lansing, Michigan. Hope you are doing well, my friend. That void in music means that we are live and ready to kick off today's live stream. I hope you guys are doing great. That that music had me like pumped. So I was like, and I'm, we have like a back channel um, chat between myself and today's guests. And we're like, this is like getting us kind of pumped and ready to roll. So full of energy for today's topic. We're actually going to talk a little bit about Pro Photo today. 
kind of what pro who pro photo is why they started um, and kind of go through the different products in the product line so i want to run over to our chat and just see who else has joined us looks like christopher gilbert our friendly fuji tech rep is doing a little dance party with the uh emojis kind of dance along love that uh eeyore says this reminds me of roller coaster tycoon it does i miss that game that's such a fun game i remember when i was little i wanted to be a roller coaster designer uh, maybe that was why I picked that video for today's countdown. Um, every time on a roller coaster tycoon, my people would die though. So I probably wouldn't have been a very good uh, roller coaster designer, if you will. So let's jump into our just a few notes, some housekeeping items. So we are monitoring the chat. If you need absolutely anything, please let us know. If you have a specific question on a product we talk about or anything really, just let us know and we will get that answered for you. We still are open at the store. So from one to five every day, but Sunday, we are there to serve you guys. We're there to help you out in any way, shape, or form. Even if you just need someone to talk to, just give us a call. We'll be your, your shoulder to cry on, if you will. But just let us know how we can help, because that's why we're here. It's for, for you guys. Also, we're here because we do these every day at noon. So we call them Lunch and Learns. We hang out. We talk about a certain topic, a certain subject, and we just kind of, it's like shop talk you know, for the photo industry. So we do them every day. If there's something that you want to learn or there's a guest that you want on, please just put it in the comments uh, below or just message me or shoot me an email, smoke signals, whatever you want to do. Just let me know the subject that you want and I'll be sure to get that added to our list. So moving on, I wanted to let you know about the PPA and every there, there's a lot of people in here who ha have seen this or heard this every day. Uh, so I apologize that they're probably like on mute for the first five minutes as I go through these. But the PPA is opening up all of their online education for photographers, and you don't even have to be a member. So all you have to do is go to the website. You can see here, ppa.com slash in it together, and all of their educational content is now free for the month of April. So what that means is you can go and get a training or a tutorial from some of the speakers that use the gear that we're talking about today, and it is free for the whole month. So you don't have to pay a dime. Um, it's like on a, almost like a trial basis, but they just keep they keep extending it because they know people are stuck inside. What are our goals for today? So for me, the biggest and most important one is to pull you away from the fear, uncertainty, and doubt that we're surrounded by. This isn't something that we're this thing that we're going through, um, COVID nineteen, this pandemic, Corona. This is not something that has been in the history books where we can say, okay, we have to do X, Y, Z, and that's and then we're done. This is day by day. All this is changing. But my goal is to bring you away from that and remind you that you have a hobby that you absolutely love and that you are passionate about. And I want to pull you away from the FUD, the fear, uncertainty, and doubt. Just for an hour, we hang out, we talk shop, and hopefully you find some inspiration to go out there and shoot. Another thing that I want to do is I want to get you outside of your comfort zone. So if you've never used off-camera flash, you've never looked at the Pro Photo brand, you've never thought about any of the topics that we talk about, my goal is to get you over there to get you outside of your comfort zone. That's what I'm, I'm taking my own advice, like food photography, for example. I've been taking, I bought a couple courses on food photography and I am taking a deep dive into that because I like fitness, I like food, I like working out. So it just kind of, it brought all these hobbies together with food and the light went off. It's like, why do all my pictures that I share on Instagram of food look like garbage? I'm a photographer, I work at a camera store, I need to conquer food photography. So that's what I've been working on while I've been quarantined at home. Our dining room is now like a little food photography studio. So my goal is for that same inspiration to happen with you. Get outside your comfort zone and try something new. Because honestly, how cool would it be for me if I could turn this fun hobby where I'm taking food, pictures of my food and turn it into a little side hustle, you know, for local restaurants and bars to be able to photograph their food. That's always been like a really cool, like, and not, I have a lot of like goals and dreams, but that that's definitely on there. How cool would it be to just be hired to come in and take pictures of food and then get to eat the food? I think that'd be awesome. So my goal is to, for, you know, for you, let's say we talk about off camera lighting today and you've never done it before. And now you can start that portrait or headshot business or that wedding business. Then that's, that's where the magic happens. That's how we deem success. That's what we deem as being successful. Because again, our goal is to help you get better so you can keep growing your portfolio. So our, our guest today, and he's, he's being very patient and I appreciate it. Uh, he actually comes from pro photo. Uh, so this is our local, um, sales rep sales. I don't know what his actual title is. We'll ask him when we, 
uh, bring him into the live stream, but he's taking time out of his day to do this exact thing. He wants you to be profitable. He wants you to grow your business. He wants you to be successful as well. And he's available for any questions. So again, if you do have any questions, please put them in the chat. I'm actually going to head over here and see who we have in the chat. Hello. Hi, TJ Houston from Elyria, Ohio. Hello, Facebook user. Post studio photo. Oh my, uh, yes, I will do a BTS uh, photo of the um, the uh, food studio downstairs. I will definitely do that. If you have any questions or anything or need to get a hold of me, you can always shoot me an email at social at thepixelconnection.com and I will be able to answer any of those questions that you might have. So without further ado, let's go ahead and bring in our guest. Make sure he's off mic or off mute and we are good to go. Hello. 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 How are you, Mr. Mr. Houston? How's life? I am I am living the dream. I feel yeah. so inadequate because my guitars aren't like hanging up behind me. Also, uh, I can barely play them. <laughs> I just collect them. Like I think you actually can play yours. I just collect you them. You know, mine. I try. I think they look really cool uh behind me. And really that was the whole point of getting them was so that I look cool, right? I mean, let's face it. That's why I started playing guitar anyways. I just want to look cool. It. So <laughs> actually the, the chat says we would rather watch you play guitar than talk about lights. Is that a possibility? Oh, okay. or is, that, is that an after hours? Maybe it finds some pixels. Maybe, right. Let's, uh, we'll hang out. let's do this and then we can hang out later. Right. I love it. Love it. Yeah. So what are we going to talk about today? So tell me a little bit about, you know, what you do at Profoto and then give us a little bit of history. Like who is Profoto and why is it important? Sure. Got it. Well, first, hey, TJ, thank you so much for, for and Pixel for having me on here and doing this with you. I think these things, as we're going through all of this right now, these things are really awesome. Like you just said, I love what you said about getting away from the FUD. So if we can have a good time and talk about stuff, and um, I think that's a great a great thing. So so Profoto, who is Profoto? So obviously, uh, we are about flash photography, and we've always been about flash photography, and, and our whole goal... Uh, since 1968, which was when Profoto was started, uh, was was to enable the best photographers in the world to create the best images with the best equipment possible. And uh, what I want to do is actually, um, this is going to be better. I'm going to attempt to do this. So, you know, TJ, we did this before on our dry run. Let's see if I can make this happen. Can you see my screen right now? Can you see what I'm doing? And then if I go to, let's see here. Here we go. Perfect. About Profoto. Let's just start with what Profoto's mission is. And Eckerd and Connie, the two founders of Profoto, they say it best. They're, they're going to build the best flashes in the world. They want to sell them to the best photographers in the world. And that was their goal in 1968. And to this day, that's what we're doing. You know, we want to develop and design the best light shaping tools that enable the best photographers to be the most creative, take the best images, and turn their ambition into reality and and really you know what comes along with that and what goes along with all of that is premium brand premium quality premium experience um premium reliability and and you know like a high-end vehicle like a you know whatever high-end stand-up mixer you know what you pay for is what you get and we're all about bringing the best quality best reliability and performance to everybody and uh me personally you know uh Lost you. Are you there? <laughs> TJ? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Okay. I can't hear you. So this is good. Hold on. Oh, I try this.
Hey, buddy. I I can't hear you, actually, just so you know. Oh, there we go. There you are. All right. You can hear Eric, but not TJ. Okay. So that whole dialogue that I just talked about, I am so good at being on mute. I'm sorry. That's so okay. After, was that like, what I don't, it was? I don't okay. want like the back, like, I don't want all the background noise of me, like taking a drink of water. So I hit mute on my board. Oh, so that was all me. That wasn't you. Okay, cool. Fair enough. So <laughs> when I think of pro photo, basically what I just said in that whole long diatribe where I was trying to cover for Eric to get rejoined that. was that when I think of pro photo, I think of consistency. And when I look at my journey in photography, in my, you know, when I moved to pro photo, it was when I realized it was a tool to do a job as a professional business. And when it comes to, you know, when you look at a business, you don't want to have to buy something every year. I mean, you're looking at an item that you then can depreciate over those years for, you know, tax purposes. Sure. And I mean, there's so many good reasons to invest in that. And it might not be something yeah. that you invest in like your first day of photography, like that, for might, sure. uh, that probably does not make sense at all. But that being said, you should be worrying about consistency. You should be worrying yeah. about reliability. You should be worrying about support. Those are all the things that when I think of Profoto, those were the reasons that I was pushed. I pushed myself into using Profoto and my life got exponentially better because of that. I didn't have two shots of a bride on a wedding day where I had different color temperatures Absolutely. or where the flash didn't fire or yep. I didn't have those things because I was For shooting sure. Profoto. Absolutely. And that's, that's exactly right, TJ. That's why. So Eric, tell us a little bit about, oh, go ahead. No, no, no. Go ahead. Absolutely. Sorry. You had, you had a little, you had a little bit of freeze. So that's why there was a little delay. Ah, in it. Got All it. good. So let's jump into the product line because there's sure. A's, there's B's, there's C's, yeah. I, there's D's. There's like D's. I want to go through and explain. Let's just sure. start today because that's easy. Start today. Um, A's and talk about, about right? who that's for. So let's go okay, ahead and jump. So let's ahead and start with, yeah. For sure. So I think what I can do right now, let's go ahead and um, let's do this. TJ, can you see? Is this okay? Everybody can see okay? Uh, you got to share oh. the screen. Oh, I have to share the screen. It helps you me click that share button, you know? Yep. How about that? Um, oh, look at that. The A-line, shall we? So this is Profoto's website. Pretty easy. Uh, we make this thing very... Um, um, graphic heavy, video heavy, content heavy, and also uh, just scroll, scroll, scroll on the website, and you can really see a bunch of cool videos, a bunch of cool specs. But right here is where you get into our popular products. And we'll start with the A's. Um, so the the A lineup is our entry into the on camera flash world. Um, so when we were starting off, um, oh, that looks weird. Can you see that? There we go, that's better. Okay, so we've always been the off-camera flash company. That's what we've prided ourselves on. That's what we've always um, researched, developed, continued to progress. Uh, and one day we decided, you know what? There is this on-camera world um, that is that is just void of really insanely good quality stuff. And, and we really feel like we could provide something that's uniquely different to the lineup than what people could get right now. And, and one big thing that people struggled with with on-camera flashes is the quality of the light. And of course, Profoto is all about that quality of light. So if you look at this round head on the A1, that is significant. And, and I want to show you a graphic that I show a lot of people all the time that just tells the story so well. And this is it. And I hope you guys can all see this. Um, this is the difference between any other type of speed light that would go on camera that has that rectangular head versus the A1. And the big thing you're gonna notice is on the A1 is that very natural type looking quality of light. Uh, it diffuses very soft, very evenly, uh, versus when you look at something like one of the speed lights, very harsh in the middle, as you can see right here. And as you start to go toward the outside of the frame, it falls off in exposure value fast. So that's the big thing is we wanted to provide something that was uniquely different and much better quality and that's why we went with the A1. Um, and the other thing about the A1 that's is just so intuitive and so easy to use. Um, anybody can pick up this flash and figure out how to use it without having to reference a manual, without having to go on YouTube or Google. So it's also incredibly intuitive. And like you said, TJ, too, is reliability. Every time you fire the flash, it fires right away. 
with no delay, no hesitation, one second recycle time at full power. It's amazing. It um, is. You had and a I question. Think, like you said <laughs> about, you know, you had mentioned about the, um, just the ease of use, like on the yeah. back. So you don't have to worry about like fractions and like all these different mat. It's, it's simple, you know, the one to 10 where you can bring it down. So you can see here, Eric showing us like, do yeah. I want 10 power or do I want five power? That makes and a lot really, more sense. And one makes, over 64 right. and plus one. Like, and all you do to adjust is you just turn the wheel like this. Uh -huh. And anyone can take a shot at eight. Look at the back of the image and go, I think that's a little bit bright. And know that if they go down, it's going to get lower power or vice versa. Yep. So, and now you can actually change this from a couple things just about Profoto. So let's talk really quick about TTL and... Yeah. Um, and that's, that doesn't run on double A's, right? That's a rechargeable battery. So the beautiful thing is it's a, there we go, lithium ion battery. Thanks, DJ. That only goes in one way. Simple. So you don't have to worry about double A's. You don't have to worry about if you're at a wedding and it's dark and you can't see how to change the double A's. You can easily do this without even thinking about it a million times over and over and over. Done. Love it. So yep. now these, all these lights can be, so even though this is an on-camera flash, it Correct. can also be off-camera, right? Yep. So when you get something like one of our triggers, that's like these guys right here that go on the hot shoe of the camera, um, that allows you to control all of our lights, whether it's a, the battery-powered, the AC-powered stuff. It also controls the A1 and A1X. So you can use it on camera. Uh, people love that on camera as a nice fill light or main light. But getting a remote, you can easily take that off camera, and it just becomes a small battery powered studio light. You can use umbrellas with an adapter. You can really just get all creative and have a lot of fun with it. It's all magnetic mounts. So you can add things like gels, you can add things like grids. Um, and they basically just, again, this is your green gel and it just goes right into the front. Magnetic. I love that. That is, and it makes it so it, much it easier, couldn't especially get more on the simple. wedding day. Like it just, uh, when I want to create that dynamic portrait, I mean, yep. I could take a room like this that has like yep. all this garbage on the wall, throw a splash of color with them, separate the bride and groom from the wall, boom. Within a couple seconds, I have an idea that, you know, I don't have to worry about like going to get my gels and, you know, right. like even the Magmod stuff is great, but it is. That, yep. I could just pop it right on there. And that's too, I, I mean, that's yeah. also true with the, um, the more studio because I use the, um, the ones is it's it's not magnetic but it's similar just pops right on there and it's so right. much easier than having to deal with putting you know putting gels on strobe lights it's a pain in the i was gonna cuss there but i didn't um it's a pain in the butt to gel flashes and what pro photos done understand. with their line has just simplified that whole process so and now who do offer ttl support for like who all um so what we offer is for Canon, Nikon, Sony, Fuji, Olympus, and Panasonic. Um, and, and that's a great question, TJ, because I want to kind of go and expand a little bit on that because one thing a lot of manufacturers do when they worry about TTL language and high-speed sync language when it is in terms of flash is that a lot of companies reverse engineer technology. They'll figure out, you know, what is it going to take for me to talk with these companies and make this remote that's going to work? We have a direct partnership with Sony, with Fuji, with Olympus, and with Panasonic. And, and the reason we want to do that is because it helps uh, that more professional experience, that more reliable experience. When, when Fuji and Sony are giving you their schematics of their TTL language and say, you may build something off of what we're providing you, we're able to build something that is the best TTL and high-speed sync experience on the market, period, bar none. Um, and that goes a long way for both companies to work together to make that professional experience. Right. Um, you know, we don't reverse engineer, I'm sorry, we do reverse engineer Canon and Icon. They don't actually work with us. Fine. No problem. I get that. But again, please understand things like Sony, Fuji, Olympus, Panasonic. You can throw a Sony remote on your Sony camera, put it on TTL, and you're going to be absolutely floored at what you can get. And my man, Joe Cologne knows what I'm talking about, right, Joe? I can see him in the comments. <laughs> That's right. That's it. <laughs> he says, oh, my man. <laughs> and then, and then we also have Ken saying E-Dog. Love Ken. Love Ken, of what course. What is up, E-Dog? <laughs> That's great. So, so did that answer? Sorry, that, that, that good? Why. So with that, so I just wanted to point out, too, that even though, like, you're reverse engineering Canon and Nikon, that's where you guys started. So you've been oh, yeah. fine-tuning this now 
for how long. So I wouldn't say that that's necessarily a negative. I think it's just as good as, you know, the other ones. It's just nice to have that direct partnership. And I know when I worked at Panasonic, this was one of those things that I was like waiting for like every day. Come on guys. And I was pushing inside, like, sure. what do we need to do? What do we need to do? You know, we need to get this going. This is something that our users need. And it's right. so great now that you can just get that remote, pop it on there and be good to go. Like you Absolutely. said, the sync yep. speed is going to be right on. The TTL metering is going to be right on. And it just, as a professional, it helps you get to where you're going, but it does it faster and more consistently. That's, so that's what else you know, why I have my Mac, A1? you know? <laughs> exactly, exactly. Uh, what was your question? I apologize. I said, so what is there anything else people need to know about the A1? And there's an A1 and an A1X, right? So what's the difference? Yeah. So the A1 is our original version. Uh, and when we came out with the A1, uh, it was a great light. People loved it. Um, there were some complaints people had about um, the head of the unit itself. So um, when you move the head back and forth like this, um, one thing we received a lot of feedback on was that that didn't feel as secure or as tight as it should be. It didn't move the way that they thought it should for um, that kind of light. So in the A1X, we developed it to where it's it's manufactured differently. The, the internal components are different. So it creates a much tighter, more robust um, movement. So that way, when you put modifiers on there, there, there's no movement of the head after it's on, or you know, you're moving around quickly, you're not going to have anything adjusting on you without you realizing. So that's one big improvement we made. Um, the other thing was that we created a new, a new battery. So the A1, original A1 battery, uh, we created an A1X battery. And the only difference is that you get 100 more full power flashes with the A1X battery as opposed to the A1. Um, but you can always buy an A1X battery, throw it in your A1, and you get the same amount of battery life as you would as an A1X. Uh, and then the last difference is when we came out with the A1, it was only for Canon and Nikon. Um, we then had to wait some time because we had to work with Sony, we had to work with Fuji, and we developed an A1X for Sony. So any of the newer stuff we come out with now that's X will be available for Sony and for Fuji. X. And those are the differences. Pretty simple. Very cool. And uh, one thing I think we missed um, was just the point, doesn't it have a modeling light as well? Absolutely, it does. You're A1. good. I, I love I love the softballs, TJ. They're great. It's easy to just kind of see that hit the bat. So thank you. Oh. Uh, <laughs> So on the back of the unit itself, you're gonna see this little button right here. Let me take the gel off. And that's your modeling light. And that's so important. When you're shooting and you're in a dark environment or whatever environment you're in and you wanna see where those shadows are gonna fall, having a modeling light is just absolutely crucial. So that way you can tell before you even take the shot where it's gonna be. And that's one thing that speed lights don't really have. Exactly. I mean, and that's what I think of Profoto, like Profoto, had put so much time and research and development of these things and they solve photographers problems. I mean like Absolutely. that, I'm, I'm thinking back to, you know, with mirrorless, one of the things is, you know, that focusing in low light and in my opinion that you can pull up whatever test you want. In my opinion, mirrorless doesn't focus as good as like my 5d three used to, mm -hmm. or my traditional SLR in low light because they're just different technologies. Sure. So with this, I could have that light on there and it would give me something to focus on. And that's something that I don't have with other flashes. So you're, you're exactly right. We're that. all about solutions, TJ. You know, what, what are the issues that people are facing? What can we do to solve them? What can we do to make it more intuitive and easy for that pro? For sure. Absolutely. Absolutely. Love it. So let's move on. So we, we went through the A1, A1X. Yep. Yep, uh, we yep. talked about triggers, but what triggering options are there? I think there's a couple, right? There's two triggering options. Um, so one is called the Connect controller, and one is called the TTL remote. Um, in fact, I have, let me just let you look at my guitars for a second. <laughs> All right, there we go. I want to show you the two remotes. People ask all the time, well, we see you have this little remote, and it's this little guy right here. Um, the great thing about this remote is that it is, of course, very, very simple. And if you see on here, there's two settings, auto and manual. And what that means is you put this remote on your camera and whatever light you want to use, you put it off camera. And if you want to do TTL, you just put the remote on auto, take one shot, and it gives you what it thinks it needs based off of TTL. The other option then is to do manual. So if you put the remote on your camera, put it on manual, you take a shot, 
you look at the back of the camera and you see, do I need to make an adjustment? Then you can physically go to the light to make the adjustment. Um, or you can use an app, Android users, iPhone users, you can actually turn on an app that allows you to control this guy, the power of the light from your phone. So that way, if the light is on a stand, you can open up your phone and you can adjust the power of the light uh, through this remote in your phone. Pretty cool. Um, the one disadvantage though about this is that you're only using this for one light. So if you wanna have more control, you need to get into something like our TTL remotes, like these guys right here. And the key to these is that you can control, see if you guys can see here where it says A, B, and C. Those are three different groups that you can actually control all from here. So if you're a shooter that's in a studio or you have multiple lights set up, this is your go-to remote, bar none. Uh, but there's two different solutions. You know, the reason we came out with the Connect was if you had an A1 and that was your first flash and you loved how easy it was, and all of a sudden you wanted to experiment with off-camera flash, you know, having a remote like this with no buttons that has two choices, auto or manual, versus a remote like this, this might be a better solution. It's it's easier, it's more intuitive. Um, I love going on vacation and taking this remote and my A1 because it's small and it's easy. So it just depends. So um, I like have, that? so let's say I'm at a wedding and I'm shooting, because for mine, I like I said, all I have is the um, B series. So I've not, and I haven't used the Connect. I use the uh, manual remote. But so if I wanted to put the Connect on a backup camera and I just left it at manual, would the so and I shoot with my main camera, maybe a a long shot or a wide okay. shot, and then okay. I pick up my telephoto camera and take a shot and it's on manual, it's going to be locked into the settings from the previous one. Like, is it a good uh, backup remote? It can be. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. So if you put it on manual mode, let's say you have another remote and you have all of your lights set up, you have the groups and the channels set up already. Is that what you're referring to? They're already done and yep. set? Mm -hmm. So if you take a connect and you put it on the same channel and the same group, you're good to go. Nothing will change. It'll be as consistent as can be. Perfect. So this would be a good backup remote for my second camera body. Sure. That I have. Okay. Yeah. Absolutely, you could. And, you know, TJ, the other thing, too, is you could turn off all of your lights, turn off your camera and turn off your remote. And when you turn the remote back on and all your lights back on, they're going to be in the same spot. Excellent. So Smart. that's a cool Again, thing. Too. Saves time. Saves time. Saves time. You're going to see this theme, intuitive, reliable, consistent, premium. Amen. So let's move on. So we've talked about the A's. Let's talk about the B line of products. So now sure. we're getting into the studio stuff, correct? Yep. Uh, studio and really, you know, more on location too. Okay. So, um, you know, the B stuff, um, most definitely you can use in studio. Um, but the key with the B stuff is now you're getting into, instead of on camera, small lights that you can use off camera, you're now getting into um, larger mono lights. And I laugh when I say larger mono lights because this is still actually really, really small. Right. <laughs> uh, this is about the same size as a 24 to 70 lens. So if you guys want to reference in your bag, uh, like a 24 to 70 Nikon or Sony lens, for example, this is the same physical size. This is five times the power of the A1 I just showed you. So when you're looking for more power, then you're definitely going to look at something like one of these. Um, this also allows you to use our light shaping tools like soft boxes, um, like strips, like octas, like grid, gels, um, more control, mo more modification when you get into the studio lights, when you get into the battery powered mono lights like these. Um, so one thing I'll show you too, that looks pretty darn simple in my mind. You know, you're not, I promise, I promise you're never gonna look at anything on the back and see like anything that looks so complicated. You know, you're able to just, oh, it's hard to do like this. There you go. Turn up for power and turn down for power. And if you want to turn up in full stops or down in full stops, you just press in and you can turn in full or down in full. And so again, again, I love how easy. simple that is because like in the heat yeah. of the moment, in the in the heat of war, if you will, when I look at sure. the back of the light, I want to know what group it's in. I want to know the battery, how much battery is left in it, and then yep. what power it's set to. Absolutely. I don't need to know everything else. And I don't need to, like, I don't want to have to hit another button to like, light up the screen and like, I don't want to have to sure. lower that light down. Like to me, it doesn't make sense. And that's why, you know, even yeah. the, even the previous versions weren't bad. Like the B ones, like even they're not 
bad at all. Like the B10 is super simple. No, and no. I love it. And I love yep. everything about it. And the it. B1X is, which is what is like the newest version today, is still an amazing quality of light. And we, we still keep it in the lineup. Mm -hmm. um, the thing that is kind of, you know, when you get into things like these that are super small, you're limited a little bit in the sense of the size of modifier you can use from us. So we don't recommend when you have a light like this, a four foot octa or anything with a four in the number. So four foot octa, five foot octa, or larger, I should say four or larger, one by four, or one by six strip. If you have a B1X, you can use those larger modifiers and it's still battery powered. It's just physically larger. Yep. So they're more robust. You're just qualifying what kind of shooting do I want to do? What kind of modifiers do I want? That'll lead you to what you want to buy. Absolutely. Uh, personally, having the small lightweight, lightweight mod, um, lights like this, that's appealing to me. I like the ability to throw it in my backpack with my camera and a small remote or even the TTL remote and just go, uh, I'm fine with a two foot octa. I'm fine with a three foot octa. I don't need anything super big. Uh, and that's just me. Um, but really like, you know, you mentioned studio TJ and absolutely you can use those in studio, but the key is on location, you know, because these are battery powered, you're mobile. Um, you could be on location with a B10 and shoot 400 full power flashes before you have to charge the battery up. It's pretty incredible. So, and that's really what's boosted Profoto's business. Um, in 2013, we came out with our first battery powered mono light and the rest is history. That's where we decided we're going to continue to go. That's where the market is. That's what people want. And we're going to continue to do R and D to make that area grow. Um, but that's, I'm kind of doing this, but the B10, B10 plus incredible mono lights. And there are core the products between right them. What's the difference between the regular and the plus? I knew you were going to ask that. B10 and B10 plus. B10 is 250 watt seconds. B10 plus is 500 watt seconds, double the power. Very cool. Everything else uh, is the same. The physical size of the B10 plus is a little bit bigger. So I mentioned if you equate 24 to 70 lens as the B10, equate 70 to 200 as the B10 okay. plus. B10 plus. And one thing too that I just want to point out, like, Eric was talking about with the backpack, you know, throwing that light in there. Just, I think back to like my senior photography and I really wasn't using much larger than a two foot modifier as it is. And sure. honestly, like the ability to have that in your backpack just makes it easier to do something. And when, when it's easy, yeah. you're going to do it. I mean, if you have to like set up all these cords and have, yeah. like, I remember back in the day with alien B, I had the, I had to have the battery pack and then the yeah. 110 cable. And then I had to have the remote plugged in. And it was daunting like, a little. <laughs> it was. And it, yeah. and I didn't do the work that I had in my head that I knew I could sure. do because of time, because I was lazy, because it was just, I had to hook up all this stuff to make it work. We're now like, Pro Photo has come so far to just make it easier for photographers and the gear almost gets out of the way. And that's what I love about it. It gets out of the way of your creativity. It gets out of the way of you creating what you want to create. That's beautiful, TJ, you know, because that's exactly what we're about. And I'm so glad you're saying that. And the founders would be so impressed that you said that too, because, uh, you know, the, the key is that, you know, the fact that you don't have to think about any of that stuff, you can just get the lights and you can go and that uh, enables you to just be ultimately creative. Uh, is a powerful, powerful thing. If you want to take your business to the next level and you were af afraid of flash or you want to just do something different, the tools that Profoto provides, I promise you, will get you to that next level with more uh, more accuracy, more reliability, and just a lot more fun. You know, it won't be as daunting. And, uh, and that's huge. It's just, there's so much to be said for that. So let's jump on then. So we talked about the B10 and B10 plus biggest difference being uh, the B10 plus is just a little bit longer and more, yep. um, more watt seconds. Right. So now Correct. let's move on to the, there's the B1 and the B1X. So I have the regular. Uh, just B1X. B1 just is no B1X. longer. Yep. Okay. Yep. 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 So the difference is the B1X is a 500 watt second unit like the B10 plus. So you're similar in, in power. Yep. It's just that with the B1X, you, it's a more physically larger and more robust unit. So it allows you to use things like four foot octas, five foot octas, one by four, one by six strips, um, the large modifiers. Um, the battery is a little bit more robust. So with the B1X, you get 325 full power flashes. A B10 Plus, you get 200 full power flashes. Um, one thing I want to go back to the B10 and B10 Plus real quick, though, is that you can actually trickle charge the B10 and B10 Plus um, while you're using it. 
So the B1X, you cannot. Um, once the battery dies on the B1X, you have to take it out of the unit, the battery out of the unit, and charge it up. B10 and B10 Plus, you can have it plugged in, and you can be using it while it trickle charges, um, which is what I'm actually doing right now with the video. I have two B10s uh, right now lighting me, and they're now plugged into the wall on constant power. So um, look at and me I talking more about the B1. Too, just to talk B10. about is the fact that, you know, even though we're talking about flash, like these lights, he's being lit right now with two of the B10s, and he's yeah. using them as constant lights. So if you do need them for video, I mean, they work well for that as well. And you can change, you know, color temperature. You can change Let me do this. the amount. Oh, he's bringing it down. He's going to show us. Oh, I want to. I want to show. I want to show off. Okay. Is that is that is that a dog and pony show? Here we go. <laughs> so we have an app. There we go. As you can see. And right now, my two B10s are on the app. And I'm just using constant light, of course. So the main light, which is what's in front of me, technically, I can actually turn up in power. And it's getting much brighter, as you can see behind me. Actually, that's the backlight. I can also change color temperature. So if I wanted more of a daylight scenario, I can make it daylight versus soft. And then here's the main light here. Let's go ahead and turn that up. And let's turn this to daylight. Let's just turn this full blast all to daylight. There we go. It's like I'm outside. Did you just step outside, Eric? How did you move yeah, all these cars outside so fast? Oh my gosh. Wow, what happened? This is great. And then of course I could just, let's go ahead and turn it back down real soft. Kind of like soft lights you get in light bulbs. There we go, just like so. All from my phone. And then in, and in, and in this day, uh, Jackie's so sweet. Uh, in this day and age, when I'm doing a lot of things like this live with you, having these lights on constant power and being able to control is very important to me right now. Right, because you could, I mean, you could take any of your modifiers and put them on there and modify that constant light. So I yeah. have, you know, I have specific lights that I use just for constant and then stroke. You're good, by the way, TJ. Oh, thank you. If I did have <laughs> those, you know, if I had the B10s and if you're thinking about doing more hybrid work, the B10s fit nice because they're good for video, but they're also great for flash photography as well. So I just wanted to let you know that it's used for both, for sure. Thanks. Yeah, that, that's huge. That's what we, uh, we really want people to understand, too, that you can use that uh, for video by far, which is great. Awesome. Moving on. So B1, B1X, the biggest difference, or B1X versus the B10 line. Um, biggest thing is the larger modifiers. Yeah. Also, you don't have the ability to trickle charge that you have to actually take the battery out. So definitely urge you, if you are going to go with the B1Xs, uh, you want that longer battery life, maybe pick up a second battery, you know, Absolutely. if that is a concern for you, um, yep. but really more robust light. So for then sure. we're going to move on to, which is weird because we're going to C now. So what is, uh, what are the yeah. C line? What is the C line of product? C line is our newest um, lineup of products where, you know, we were crazy enough to dive into the on-camera flash world we decided to be even crazier and go into these, um, here we go, small handheld smartphone lights. So we wanted to get into the consumer electronics side of the world. And we wanted to create a, this is a C1 plus, and this is the C1. I don't know if we can kind of see side by side here. There we go. So the C1, which is this guy right here, is meant for your smartphone specifically. And what you can do with that is you can just hand hold it, pull up your phone like you're going to take a selfie, you're going to take a picture of someone, you're doing food photography like you're doing yeah, yeah. so well right now. <laughs> and you can use this to light your subject. Um, the C1 Plus is nice because not only can you use it for smartphones, but it also has our technology built into it that you use with the remotes. So if you have an existing Air remote or you have even a Connect remote like this guy here, you can control a C1 Plus off camera. So I use that a lot where, again, I'll just take my X-T3 and I'll take my 16 to 50 lens and I'll take this with the Connect controller and that's my lighting setup. And you know, again, going on vacation or like just going out and about, that's an awesome little thing to have. And if I want to use my smartphone with this, I could literally get studio quality light with a smartphone. It's pretty unbelievable. So um, question that I had too then. So this can, but the, like you said this can be controlled with the connect, right? The plus? You can, yep. 
Yep. So I'm thinking too, like just bride in window where it's like that a frame window, it would be really hard to get a light in there. I could yes. just have like, even like a piece of Velcro um, or tether tools actually has like a double sided like thing where I could just put that on the wall and sure. then I can just get a little pop of light in there. Right. You could. And the thing to note is this does have a quarter 20. Oh, nice. So you could, however you want to rig that up. Um, you could just throw it on a stand or whatever. And that, yeah, you're right. So think of any place that you want to like discreetly put a light. Um, that would be an amazing solution in your existing setup. And you know, the other thing you could do too is I showed you on the A1, they had those magnetic modifiers. Yeah. Same thing with the C1 plus. I can take the dome off and I can take, let's just use one of my gels, peacock blue. It goes right in like so. So now that discrete light turns into a special effect colored light, or let's think of it this way. We also make CTOs, which as we all know, CTO is color temperature orange. And I uh, do not have my CTOs with me, but if you imagine a CTO going on here, right, and then you're instantly closer. matching that color. Bingo. You're doing, you're doing sunlight. You're doing golden hour. You know, anything you want to do, provide a hair light that gives you that nice golden color in a small discreet light. That's an awesome thing to have. Absolutely. And so now with those, is that the same size as the A1 or are they different? Sizes? So same size, uh, as far as the head is concerned. Okay. But if you want to see in relation to physical size, here's your A1 X and here's your C1 plus. Okay. But the modifiers are interchangeable. Correct. Oh, very cool. So I could take this yellow mm -hmm. and go right on the A1. That's I'm thinking too, just like ring shots at the wedding. Like it's usually dark because I do them at the reception. Like yeah. to just have a small little light. So I'm not like, like I don't, I hate using flash because it like constantly pops and people are like, what are you doing over there? Like it draws sure. attention to you where this sure. I could just put on like a gorilla pot almost and use yep. it as a lighter. If I had two of them, I could just splash a little bit of color in there and just, again, takes up very little room in my bag in order to use it. And it works with the existing B1s that I already have, right? It, that's exactly right. You can you can use it in conjunction with the air remote and just supplement it with anything you want to do. Um, one thing I want to mention too about, about this is it does have um, a nice constant light, an LED constant light. Um, that you can, with physical controls on here, you can actually turn up and turn down the power, okay? Um, if you hold down this button and this button, it'll allow you to actually change the color temperature. So oh, wow. now, again, I'm referencing your ring shots because now you're like making me think about all this stuff. You could, you know, make it either warm or make it really cool light, daylight or warm oh, light. Oh, wow. Just from here. That's pretty sweet. Provide some nice light like this too. Again, like for, for my video, if I want to like illuminate under here, I could use a big reflector or I could just kind of, you know, do one of these things. Have it popped up there. I yeah. love it. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, it is. So now is there grids for that as well? You guys there are. So we make... Um, I'm glad I picked really, all the things that you don't have in front of you. You know, oh. it's so funny because I'm like, all right, so make sure I have this, make sure I have this, and I have none of it. There are You'll grids. never ask about grids for the I C1. Grids. Uh, but there are, they are available. So if I want to control yeah, that, I, I'm just thinking about directionality. Like you just, yes, you just put that sure. up there and it was kind of going everywhere. But with the grids, I can then pull it into just like being on the ring. That's exactly right. And again, if you just imagine this as a grid, and we make a 20 degree and a 10 degree right on the front. Boom. And they're stackable. I was just going to so ask how they stackable. Put, okay. Perfect. You could put the red on here plus then the grid. Again, imagine this is a grid. You can do the red plus the dome. Okay, so I can you do can color do, plus grid too. You color plus grid, color plus dome. You could do two colors together. So my wife the other day was um, shooting some stuff and she wanted it to be uh, a different purple and you know we're limited to what we have to choose from but if you start stacking certain colors it becomes a cool little fun art project and all of a sudden you're getting these really cool creative colors so easy 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 stuff it's great love it get them on order and they make really cool sounds when you put them together as you can hear that or it's like uh, monty python like the 
the quest it for the is. Holy Grail. That is pretty that's, good. That's the number one reason to buy them. In fact, Those guys had no idea now, that that's really why people were going to buy them. Yeah, be bingo. <laughs> um, let's move on to... Um, Pardon me while I take a sip. You're fine. So the D lineup, right? There's D and then there's one more of the pro lineup, right? Like there's a whole nother... I've yeah, never so really looked at it. That's fine. So let's touch on the other ones we haven't touched on. Um, so we have a D lineup, a, a D1 and a D2. Okay. Um, they're both uh, still very relevant products in our lineup. Um, the D1 is either a 250 watt second mono light or 500 watt second mono light, but it's AC powered. So when you get into the D powered lights or the D series lights, I should say, um, they're all AC powered. They're not battery. Um, which can be a good thing. So let's say you do have a studio um, and you have a, a fixed studio, you have maybe rafters or you have lights set up that aren't gonna go anywhere. Um, it's much better to have corded stuff than it is to worry about going to change the battery up in a rafter or having to worry about what's my battery level in the middle of a shoot in my studio. So if you, again, want a dedicated lights that aren't going anywhere, definitely get with the D1s or the D2s. Um, the difference between D1 and D2 is that the D2 has TTL and it has high speed sync. So if those weren't important to you, the D1 is great, but the D2 is our most advanced corded AC powered monolight on the market. Um, the, the flash duration is incredibly short. That's if you wanna bad. freeze droplets, uh, you're doing all that stuff in studio. Um, that is an amazing light for that. Uh, plus, the D2 allows you to get into 1,000 watt second mono lights. So if power is your game, then really you need to get into the D2 1,000 watt second. Um, and that's a great solution. Awesome. Well, and then we have uh, the one more. The high-speed sync is available for? Uh, the high-speed sync? Yeah, who's that available for? Is that so all brands? Can, all, all brands, um, except, well, let's see, Canon, Nikon, Sony, Fuji, Olympus, Panasonic. And then the others I didn't mention, we don't actually have technical support for. So like Leica mm -hmm. and um, Pentax. the others. Thanks. Pentax. Trying to think of who else. Brico. All right. Sorry, Pentax. Speed Graphics. Be great. <laughs> no. Rollies. Have no. one of those. Hasselblad? No. Hasselblad. Uh, actually, with, with phase, we have our error system built into the phase cameras, which is actually really cool. You don't even need a remote. It's literally built into the unit itself. Really? I didn't yeah. know that. Yeah. That's very interesting. Well, when I remortgage my house, then I'll look at oh, oh, yeah. Me too. Right. Exactly. <laughs> when I find $40,000, that's the first thing I'm going to spend it on. <laughs> No offense. If that's your thing, that's great. Yeah, no, you it's know, and again, just, we laugh, but yeah. it's the right tool for that job. And that's well, what and, I and so let me can I segue that. real quick then into our last product because it's perfect. We have a professional product that is a pack and head solution, which is what we started with. And that's what I don't want to gloss over that one because it is a very important piece in our lineup because it's our fundamental piece. It's called the Pro 10. And the Pro 10 is a pack. Uh, that you put on the ground, that you plug into power, that you then plug in heads to. Um, and those are 2,400 watt second packs. So again, Whoa. if you need ultimate power in the studio, that's the way to go. But, you know, again, like a phase is $40,000, a Pro 10 pack alone before you get into the heads is $15,000. Right. So, you know, we provide everything from a $299 smartphone light to a fifteen thousand dollar pack, and now are those packs? Those packs are one ten packs. Those are not battery packs, correct? Correct. Right. No battery that's packs. One thing too. I mean, when we're talking about like, oh, why would you need that many watt seconds? You know, in studio, mm -hmm. a the larger modifiers, but b yes. you know you want to get that light source further away. So you know, five hundred watt seconds is going to take a three foot, say a three foot octa, and you're going to be about five to six feet away. Well, let's say you want it all the way out of the frame, then you're right. going to need more power in order for that light source to, or for Bingo. that light to kind of travel that far. So that's one thing um, with James Schmelzer, he kind of taught me was he was carrying these like 1200 watt packs out to a football field. And I'm like, why are you doing that? He's like, cause I don't want the softbox right here on yeah. this bright sunshiny day. Like I want to get it out of the frame. Why am I taking the time to Photoshop this light out when I can just do it right the first time? And I was like, Holy crap. Like I, I didn't even think about it for that. So sure. again, it's the right tool for that job. It might right. not be for you right now, 
but it could be, you could get to that point where you, For sure. that. it's nice that you can get started with something small and then yep. work your way up through that line. And again, these aren't things that you're going to buy today and trade in, you know, a month from now or two months from now because they're, they've lost their value. These are professional tools for professional photographers who want yeah. the best and they want consistency. That's a great point, TJ, too, because you're right. This stuff is going to last and it's going to maintain its value. The, the way I look at it, too, um, I just referenced like Canon uh, makes a series of lenses called L lenses, which I'm sure we're all familiar with. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you go online and the same thing with like the Nikkor lenses or anything that you see that's high end premium lenses. They resell for a very high premium, too. Yep. And that's the exact same thing with the pro photo lights. I mean, anyone can go online right now and, and just you know, Google what an A1X on the used market is going for right now, or a B10 on the used market. And it's a very high value. Uh, and it will retain that high value for, for a long time. Absolutely. Absolutely. So is there anything that we did not cover in kind of going over the whole entire product line today? Well, one thing I want to mention, um, we were very thorough, which was great. But one thing I want to mention is we do have a current promotion and a current campaign that we're running right now. And I want to be sure we touch on that. Um, and so what we're running right now is um, the C1 Plus. There we go. They couldn't have gone too far. You have <laughs> couldn't have gone right. It's all, you've been watching me this whole time. All right. C1 Plus plus a Connect, that little combination I was talking to you about. So the C1 Pluses are $499 and the Connects are $299. The promo right now is buy a C1 Plus and get a Connect half off. Wow. So this for $150. That's awesome. And the best way to do that is to call up Pixel Connection and tell them you want it. We'll be ready for you. So I want to right. jump over to, um, and we have that live. So if you do need that, please reach out to us. Um, we'll be able to help you out in getting that. Uh, but I do want to jump over to the chat. Uh, Jackie says he's so bright. Our lovely um, Fujifilm. I see what you did there, Jackie. Uh, Les says, hello. 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 Fred, hope you're doing Fred. well over in PA. Great info, guys. Appreciate you stopping by. Thank you. Tamron East Central says that pro photo rep is very knowledgeable that he is very much so <laughs> Facebook user says, Hey TJ. Hello, Facebook user. Hope you're doing well. Uh, looks like Mike. Mike. So actually, um, he was a big reason that I, um, um, got into the food photography is on my regular account. Like I had been following him cause you know, he had, um, someone told me at the store, like, Hey, we have this customer. Um, but he does awesome, like every day, food like Instapot stuff and he and it looks like he shared I can't click it here uh, but it looks like he shared his food photography studio so I definitely want to take a look at that um, but wanted to give him a shout out because you know he was an inspiration for me starting a little more good food to see you Mike and then we have Aaron love my oh, two A1s and two Aaron. B10s total game changers when it comes to simplicity and being straightforward on how to use love it thanks Aaron and then Chris said fired for some reason, I don't know why, but you're fired apparently. Um, Probably. And then uh, Nick Corey says, I'm in ah. awe of you too. Thanks, Nick. Hope you're doing well down there in uh, Tennessee, down south. Hope you are Love doing you, well. Nick. So those were all of the comments that we have. So if there's nothing else for you, I did want to announce our contest, if that's okay. Is there anything else we wanted to cover in Pro Photo Land? Are there any questions out there about Pro Photo products? Now's your chance. Right. We must have explained it really, really well, which is good. So we have a weekly photo contest. So this is honestly me being super selfish and wanting to uh, get inspiration for my own photography. But I thought it was pretty good. We're all stuck inside. And let's do a contest this week about food photography. So the photo on the left is one I did. We on Friday, we is like our nice dinner steak night. So um, I started playing with some food photography. So I want to see your guys's food photography. I have a, I have a feeling that Michael's going to clean up on this one, but we'll see. There could be a hidden food photographer out there that we don't know. So in order to win, all you have to do is like and follow us on Instagram at the dot pixel connection, and then share your entries with the hashtag of the pixel connection and hashtag my food. So that way I can tell the difference between last week's um, subject, which was my world, and this week, which is my food. So you can share that on Instagram or Facebook, but but I search by hashtags. That's how I find out who won. So make sure you put those hashtags in there and you could tag us in the photo as well, just to make our lives a little bit easier. 
it says if there are no other questions, uh, I did want to let you know about our event that's coming up this August, August 14th through 16th. It is Pixel Photo Fest, and this was an amazing event last year, and we're getting super excited for this year. We've already announced our first five speakers. Uh, Pro Photo was gracious enough to sponsor Miss Vanessa Joy. She is a fabulous, fabulous photographer. Her lighting is on point. Um, she's in a Canon Explorer of Light. She is, what do you guys call yours, Eric? Legend of Light. Legend of Light. So she she knows when it, when it caught when it comes to lighting, when it comes to weddings, when it comes to business, she is a absolute pro. Vanessa is a wealth of knowledge, and that extends on through the rest of our speakers. Aaron Anderson is doing amazing things with um, the Olympic team and doing cinematic portraiture. Definitely look him up on Instagram. Give him a follow. He's doing great stuff. Jeff Carpenter, who last week we saw some demos from, he's going to be there. Isaac Coffey, he is a senior and a wedding photographer uh, from the Northern Ohio area. Phenomenal business, consistent business, or, I mean, consistent photos, um, just very methodical in his approach. You can learn a ton from him. And then my close friends, Jen and Travis Stitt, um, they're going to be talking as well. And they're actually going to be on a live stream next week um, talking about the kind of more of on the business side of photography, but they're pro photo, pro photo shooters as well. So for that conference, if you use the code lunch and learn at checkout, you will save a hundred dollars. And we, this, this coupon code is going to end once we stop, you know, once we're back in the store, once things go back to normal. So I definitely urge you, if you want to save a hundred dollars, go to the pixel, um, photo fest website by just doing Google search for photo fest and sign up today. It's half off guys, hundred bucks off. We are also offering one-on-one -on -one virtual classes. So um, here we have with team member Caitlin, but depending on what you need help with, it'll be a different member of our staff because we all have varying degrees and expertise. So we are all different. Um, if you need help with business stuff, you know, I can help you with that or marketing. Um, or if you need help with, you know, one-on-one -on -one with how to use your camera, you know, Caitlin will help be able to help with that. If it's macro, that might be Eeyore. So we all have these things. We don't just say, hey, you know, one person will be able to solve all the problems. We use a team-based approach and you can sign up for a virtual one-on-one -on -one class where we just sit down and answer your questions and it's developed just for you. I want to let you know too, for the rest of the week, tomorrow we have my friend, um, Sigi, who is at the beginning um, uh, of the, um, at the beginning of the live stream, there we go, words. Um, he will be joining us and talking a little bit about YouTube and starting your YouTube channel. Um, he's from the Northern Ohio area. Um, he, he's just under 75,000 subscribers. Maybe after the live stream with the Pixel Connection live stream effect, he'll be over that 75,000. Uh, but he knows a thing or two when it comes to YouTube. So he's going to share some of that knowledge with you tomorrow. On Wednesday, we have Bear coming in from Sony. He's the tech rep, and he's going to do a tips and tricks class. For Sony users. So even if you don't shoot with a Sony camera, you know, Bear knows a ton about photography and he's going to be sharing different tips and tricks and how he sets up, you know, his cameras. You can apply that to your own cameras. On Thursday, we're working on um, getting Miguel kind of teed up. Uh, so that one is still tentative. And then on Friday will be the Friday focus. If you guys need absolutely anything from us, you can reach out at sales or social at thepixelconnection.com on Instagram, the.pixel.connection, or via phone at 440-934-1544. We are here for you guys. And I want to thank Eric for taking his time. I know he has that, same, you, uh, that same mentality, is he wants you to be successful when it comes to lighting and your photography. And that's, that's okay. our mission as well at the Pixel Connection. So thank you, Eric, so much for joining. Thank you, TJ. Everybody out Appreciate there it. for joining. It was a great live stream. Good seeing everybody. Up. We're going to end it here. Thank you guys and have a good day. Take care.